happy Friday. Um, I do want to make a few announcements. I am so sorry I haven't announced the winner yet of the September giveaway. It is still sitting behind me. The next prize is ready. But I can't find the box that I mailed them in. And I don't like to announce the winner until I have it ready to ship. So that the minute they give me their address, I can take it. If I have the time that day or the next morning. Um, but it's right here still. And I have added a skincare product to it. Oh, I don't drop. Okay. This is the prize. It's still here. And I've added the Rock multi-correction daily moisturizer to it so it's all still right here sitting by itself and then this is next month's this is october's this month's so i do still have it and the announcement is going to come monday i just need time to find the boxes that jason got me to mail them so that i could package it up <laughs> all right so i did get a sephora haul because last month was my birthday and I wanted the birthday gift. So, the birthday gift was the Hourglass Beauty Insider birthday gift. I mean, these are minis, which are my favorites. Because then you get to find out if you like it before paying full price. Um, this is the Mineral Veil Primer. By um, Hourglass. I'm going to move that right there. As you can see, I've kind of finished cleaning up the back and then it also came with the translucent setting powder by hourglass it's got the little h in the middle i don't think i've ever tried that i want it to be something i have in this drawer but if it is i'll put it in the giveaway all right i know i haven't tried the primer okay so i'll put that box there then we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I paid $19 for this, I believe it was. This is their um, setting powder, and I hadn't tried it yet. Now, I do know if I like it that um, they have, um, trying to adjust the lights. Eric will come in here and mess with it in a minute. They have the big size for whatever price it is. It's huge. This is... Good for 12 months and it's 0.21 ounces. This is 0.3 ounces. Oh, 0 0.03 ounces. <laughs> okay, I will say so much smaller and lighter compared when it's what it says it's okay. I picked the free sample of ounce. Um Beauty Blender Foundation because I want to see if I like it. Hopefully, one of those shades match me. Um, I also got the sample, like the um, deluxe sample size or travel size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer that they just came out with. It's hard to see that. But that's what that is. Um, I got the two Pat McGrath palettes that look like this because they were for they're 14 dollars a piece right now if they're still up there and that's pretty good for pat mcgrath this one is the sublime palette i'm trying to be careful with those little things and this is what it looks like it's like cheap plastic um packaging but you know i don't care i just wanted to try the shadows and it's it's sturdy. It's not like cheap, cheap. It's sturdy. I'm using the hand sanitizer so I can swatch these shades for you. They're all glitters. I mean, metallics, except for one is like, um, the best way I could put it is sequin shade from like the Tati palette. All right. And then the bottom, those are the top three. This is what I'm talking about by the sequin shade. You can see it's a little metallic. And then there's that one. They're very beautiful shades. And I can't wait to use it. The only thing I see is I'm I'm always into I have to have the mattes also. So I have to find I'll probably use a Natasha Denona palette 
to go with it. Or wouldn't it be funny if I used the Wet n Wild mats? So there's that one. This is the Sublime palette. And the back of it has that. It has all the little color shades listed. And then it also, on this little thing here, inside the package, I should have showed you this. I'm trying not to spill those little sequins everywhere. It has inside, it has what's in it. So that's kind of neat there. I put it right there. All right, and the other one is the subversive. Ah, there goes some of them. Same thing, it's got the little package. It says what's inside, the ingredients type thing. In the back, it says lapis luxury, gold standard, crimson fire, blue blood, and synthetica. So we're gonna open it up, and that's what it looks like. And I may go back and buy these two again and put them in the Christmas giveaway. Something nice for y'all also. And there's those shades. It's very pretty. And they're very soft. I mean, I don't know if they're $129 good for when you buy the whole big package. So, that's my thing. I'm not buying that big one. <laughs> and the last thing I got, I had a 20% off coupon on my thing when I got on to buy the other stuff. And it said off my next lash purchase. So, being the I want to save money person I am, and it counted. I got $9 off the Sephora favorite set right here. And it comes out like a drawer, which I thought was really neat. Put that down there. And put this in here. And that's everything that comes in it. So... I can tell you off the top, the Too Faced Better Than Sex is going in a giveaway. The Anastasia Beverly Hills one, I believe I have also, so it'll go in a giveaway. Oh, Lord. Okay. I was trying to get it out. The um, Bad Girl Bang by Benefit will go in a giveaway because I have these three mascaras. For sure. So these will for sure go in a giveaway. So technically, I'll just take these and put them in the box behind me. Down there. Effortless Lash. Silas Sans Effort. Velour Lash. No trim. Um, Effortless Lash Collection by Velour. I don't see any glue in here. And I think you push it out. I'm not going to do that. Just in case. Just in case I don't want them and I want to give them to y'all. So I'm going to leave them in here. I'm trying to see what they're called. Mini me maybe? I don't know. Here they are. It says no trim. But they're a little fluffy and I'm not used to lashes yet. So I got a feeling they'll go in that Christmas giveaway. So we're going to put that behind me also. Then we have the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I haven't tried anything by that brand, so I will be trying this out. Then we have the Lancome Silas. I think this is a primer. Yeah, this is a primer. This is the Lancome primer. I could actually see. No, oh, it's down here. Okay, because right here, when you put it up to the light, you can see a space. I think that's just the um, lid. All right, so I like lash primers, and I haven't used that one. I've always gave it away, so I think I'll try that finally. And then I have the Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in a giveaway as well. So I'm going to put that behind me in that box. All right, because I have lash serums and I have um, the other stuff I need. The Pat McGrath made this worth it. I'm not sure how good this mascara is, but it's full size. And I believe when I looked up the price, it was like $36. And this is a $48 set. I could be wrong. It's not telling you how much they are here. 
All right, but this is the Pat McGrath Labs mascara. So I like that that's full size. And I love some of the Urban Decay mascaras. So when I saw this, I thought this was a good one too. This is the Lash Freak. I haven't used it yet. Can't wait to use it. The wand looks very interesting. Let me show you. See that? I don't want to open them. I've told y'all about that before, that if you open them, that's when the time starts because you've let air in. So I don't want to open them. And this is the Mascara Amplified by Blink. Stop painting your lashes, tube them. So this is tube mascara. I've never tried a tube mascara. The wand, this is also full size. The wand looks interesting. So that was, so out of all those mascaras and things, I'm keeping four. That's not bad, five, because I'm keeping this mascara primer. All right. So I thought that was a good deal. For one, I got $9 off. And then for two, I got some really decent things for y'all to try and for me to try. Because I didn't keep anything I already had. So that's kind of interesting. All right. And the other sample, I thought it was going to be bigger than this, that I picked was the Fab First Aid Beauty Pharma Arnica Relief Rescue Mask Soothe and De-Stress. It's enough to do a mask, so I'll be able to let y'all know what I think after using it. But overall, that was my haul. And like I said, Monday or tomorrow, I could find those boxes in a little while and be able to put it up tomorrow. But I don't like announcing until I have a box to put it in. So I'm sorry for that. That's my bad. He gave them to me. I have no idea where I put them. So that's always fun. Talk to y'all later and I hope you have a great day.